I love Power Toys. It is such a good tool. It's a free download from Microsoft. I'll put a link in the description and the comments below. Once you've downloaded it, right click and add it to your taskbar. So pin it to your taskbar. It's always there and available. And let's take a look. What have we got? All sorts of things. Color picker is a really well known feature. Let's take a quick look at that. So Windows Shift C triggers my color picker and I can go to anything on a page and grab that color. Okay, maybe I'll grab that color. You can copy it, the hex code, the RGB. I'll copy the hex code. And then if I go into my bad color measure and I just replace it in here. There you go. Changed all my colors. Beautiful. All right. What else have we got? What other great little goodies? Um, keyboard manager, you can create little shortcuts. So if I go to Excel, so my email address is now control E. There you go. Okay, so you can just set that up under keyboard shortcuts. It's pretty straightforward. You go remap a shortcut. You pick whatever you want it to be. You can edit it there. You say action, send text, and you type whatever you want the shortcut to be, whatever you want the text to be. Brilliant. Okay, Zoom It is built in. So I love Zoom It, okay? So Alt-Z zooms me in. I can highlight things. I can point to things. Zoom It's just awesome. I can press Escape. So Zoom It's built in. Um, what else is there? This came up recently, Advanced Paste. I needed to convert a file from MP4A into M, uh, MP3. Just right click, Advanced Paste, and it allows you to change it. Um, power rename. Check this out. This is so good. I want to rename these three files. You could change the extension or you can change the prefix maybe to 2025. So I'm going to highlight them all. Right click and then rename with power rename. And I did this on about a thousand files. It's amazing. So search for 2020, 2024. Okay. Replace with 2025, for example, you can match all occurrences you, of the numbers. You can just do the file name only if you're happening to have the letter CSV or something. You didn't want to change that. Lovely. Apply. And it's done. Okay. Literally happens in seconds. There you go. 2025 budget. So good. Right. Next one. Image resizer. Pretty good if you want to just make files smaller. So you get a big image from somewhere, you know, a photo or something you've taken, you want to put it on your website or in an Excel file or in a Power BI um, deck. You can just right click image resize. It's great. Um, oh, new. Let's check this out. Check this out. This is great. Okay. Um, so there's a little folder where you can put in your various templates. You can set that up in the in Power Toys. And then doesn't matter where you are, you can right click and say new and just drop one of those files in. It's great for doing dummy data, template files, other things that you're using over and over again. You're just dropping them into folders. Pretty cool. Uh, quick accent. Here we go. So let's say you're going to type um, Ivan. So I V A right arrow brings up and you can go and tab across to whichever accent you want to add. And there you go. Puts it in. Beautiful. Okay, find my mouse. Double click, control. There you go. If you ever lost your mouse on the page, pretty cool. So there we go. There's a few little useful features. There's a whole bunch more that you might find useful. I love those ones. Let me know in the comments if you're using this, which ones you like. And I'll catch you in the next video.